What's up YouTube? John back with another video. I know, I know, doing another video in less than a week. Um, I figured I'd start doing videos highlighting some pieces from uh, my original comic art collection. Kind of a way to stay immersed in the hobby um, and continue to enjoy the, the art that I do have. As with comic books and other collectibles, definitely the original art market um, prices have kind of skyrocketed over the past several years. And me just entering the hobby in about 2016, so a little about five years in, definitely seen, um, you know, prices kind of, uh, how do you say, it? change exponentially. Um, so I'm glad I, I got in when I did. But, you know, even if a few collectors stumble across this video and it stimulates their interest, you know, mission accomplished. Um, that that kind of happened to me. Um, my friend Jimmy C. Back in 2013, we used to do comic collecting videos, and then one day he started posting original art, and that kind of stimulated my interest. So, if if I can convert any fellow uh, comic collectors into original art, um, that would be great. But today we'll talk about uh, two pieces um, by Paula Rivera. Uh, one of my favorite modern artists, I think one of the best painters currently in the game. Paola is very talented. Um, only issue is I, I know he's pretty busy and um, commissions uh, are very hard to come by. I'm not even sure if he does offer any today. I know um, at one time when he did, he was it was a long wait list because he does like to take his time. But this is um, a published piece from uh, his earlier days with Marvel. He did a Mythos series where there was uh, Fantastic Four, X-Men, I believe, Captain America, Hawk, and you know he, he actually painted the whole series, uh, interiors and covers. Um, so I, I'm fortunate to grab this one. Uh, this was from the Fantastic Four Mythos. And uh, just gonna give a little bit of background. You know, Paola, works in a variety of mediums, um, but he likes to use um, gouache. I'm, I'm thinking I pronounced that right, acrylic and gouache technique. And I think gouache, uh, from what I understand, is a little bit similar to watercolor, except that it uses um, uh, stronger pigments. Uh, and um, a few things, interestingly, you know, uh, Paola does have his own blog spot where he kind of reflects on the um, you know different pieces he did so it's always interesting to read so I'm gonna scale down to the piece that I'm gonna show yeah th that's the piece and he kind of talks about it um, and I always find it's pretty cool to kind of get the insight of the artist and uh, basically the writer asked him to do a piece that encompasses all Fantastic Four history so Paola, um, you know, this char this piece is so rich in colors and has all these characters from Fantastic Four lore. You see the Watcher to the far right. You see Doom, Rama Tut peeking behind his shoulder. Um, you know, you see uh, Black Panther, Claw. And then uh, I believe, um, is it the Frightful Four? You know, Sandman, the Wizard at the bottom left. Got Molecule Man, then you got one of my favorites, Namor peeking out, Super Scroll, um, Annihilus, then look at Silver Surfer and kind of look at the streaks. And based on the blog, it was cool because Paolo said his favorite part is the two parallel lines of Mean Glass turning into speed lines for the Silver Surfer. So, and then let me, uh, and again, if for those that haven't, um, if you're not aware about comic art fans, a uh, site designed by Bill Cox um, is a good tool for anybody interested in original art. There you get to network. But uh, let me show you the, this is, uh... oops, that's not what I wanted to show. Sorry, this is what happens when you try to wing it. This is uh, the published page with the text. So I always think it's nice to show the public page. Published page. Sorry, allergies are flaring up. 
And then what was cool is, you know, I, I do post on Instagram. So um, when I got this mail call, um, it's funny because he uh, commented on, on the posts. And he's like, finally got these out of my bathroom. So I thought that was pretty funny. But here I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can kind of see. There you go. I, I can't wait to see these, uh, the first family in the MCU. And of course, this already came framed from Paola, so thank you. And then, you know, the second piece is um, another painting he did, and this became a Sideshow Collectibles print, which is cool. And uh, the Fastball Special, every X-Men fan knows that classic Fastball Special. And just amazing detail. I mean, one of the, my favorite things, look at the lighting work, how the light shines off of, you know, the, the triceps, biceps, um, see the sternocleidum mastoid and trapezius and um amazing amazing lighting effect and i love the way he kind of depicted uh colossus's armor you got the sentinel head in the back and let's go to his instagram real quick oh no let's cl close it okay here we go and this is kind of him live painting it uh he, he kind of uploaded a clip just amazing work. Yeah, so again, um, thanks for, you know, tuning in. Two of my favorite uh, painted pieces by the modern master Paula Rivera. Um, I'll post the links underneath to both my comic art fans gallery and Paula's blog in case anybody's interested in checking out his other work. All right, John signing off. Thanks.